One of the best things about the Pokemon trading card game is that it's really easy to get into. The base rule set is pretty straightforward. And on top of that, as a new player, there are a ton of pre-constructed deck options for players of all skill levels. You don't have to worry about opening 80,000 packs and trying to mash together cards to make a deck work. You can just go to the store and buy a pre-constructed deck and go off and have fun. That being said, there are a ton of different pre-made deck options and I wanted to simplify the experience of shopping for you right here, explaining the play level system and showing all of the different categories of products and help you decide which one is right for you. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's talk about pre-constructed decks. First thing to know is that every Pokemon TCG product since 2021 features a play level rating. You can see on the, the picture on the left there, there is a three level scale with the level one being beginner level, level three being advanced and intermediate being somewhere in the middle. And almost every product that you find is going to be rated on this scale. So just as a general rule of thumb, you can look at the rating and see, okay, this one is for me because I'm a newcomer, level one is fine, or a level three, maybe you've played TCGs before and you're like, I just wanna go straight to the competitive stuff right away. And you can do that. The only exceptions to this are some of the older products and I'll showcase a couple of them here as well as the world championship decks. Those do not have play level ratings. Let's start with level one products. These are things like the My First Battle Set, the Battle Academy and EX decks that you will see in the store today. These are beginner friendly products. They are usually the cheapest in price. And that being said, they are generally not worth upgrading. I, I get comments here and there on the channel of people that are like, I bought the Battle Academy and now I wanna make the Pikachu deck better. But uh, with the way that these decks are built, they're meant to be entry level. And if you wanna play something a little more advanced, it's usually better to just buy a, a more advanced deck rather than trying to upgrade anything that you're gonna get at this tier because for the most part, these are just meant for um, learning the game. My first battle is a brand new product. I'm recording this before it comes out, but by the time you watch this, it should be in stores right now. This is the brand new sort of baseline product. You've never played a TCG before, or you're using this to teach young children how to play the game. This actually simplifies the rules of the game to make it easier for newcomers to play. So when you get this box, you are going to get a 17 card deck. Now, normally the Pokemon TCG is played with 60 cards, but this is a simplified version of the game, only 17 cards, which makes it a lot easier for, for, for children to shuffle the deck and, and things like that. And again, I mentioned the, the change of the rules. It's actually kind of a notable change. You're playing with a much smaller deck. You are playing with prize tokens instead of prize cards. And there are fewer Pokemon you can put into play at any given time. Now, I haven't had a chance to play it. There might be some other rule changes in there as well. I'm pretty sure there is. But the, the entire point of this is to get new players to grasp the the bare essentials of how to play the Pokemon trading card game, at which point you can then jump to some of the other products you will see later. Another thing to worth noting here is the tournament legality of these cards. I mean, if you're playing entry level products, you're, you don't really have to worry about format, but just in case standard format is the, the primary way that competitive players play the Pokemon trading card game, which, which limits you to the mostly newer cards. In, in short, it's the newer cards. However, these cards are not tournament legal. They don't have a tournament marking on them. So you can't build the deck and expect to play at the world championships with any of the cards here, though you wouldn't want to because they, they're not very particularly strong. They are just meant to teach new players how to play. And one other thing of note is that this product does not come with a code to add these cards to Pokemon TCG Live. A lot of Pokemon TCG products come with codes that you can scan into the Pokemon TCG Live, which is the digital client where you can play the Pokemon trading card game online, play against other people. Um, most of the products you will see here will have codes that come with the physical products, you can use the digital version of it, but some of them don't. And this is one that does not have a digital code. 
Prior to my first battle, Battle Academy was the best product to teach newcomers with. And to some, arguably, this is still the way to go. Unlike the My First Battle that I just showed, this contains three beginner level 60 card decks. This is using the, the standard rule set of the Pokemon trading card game, but simplifying the, the decks that you're playing with. And it also comes with a lot of resources, right? You're getting a actual board, physical board that you play the game on. You are getting a detailed rule book. You're actually getting a step-by-step -step tutorial as well. The cards are, some of the cards are numbered and it actually walks you through play this card first and it explains what's happening to help you learn how to play the game which is a really nice touch this uses the base rule set of the pokemon trading card game so all of the rules including weakness and resistance and retreat cost all that stuff is in play here however you are playing with simplified decks so you're not going to be dealing with some of the more complex aspects of the trading card game at least if you're just using the decks in this box now there are two versions of battle academy the one in the presentation here has cinderace on the box i happen to have the older one with charizard on the box the cinderace one has pokemon v based decks you're playing with pikachu v evv and cinderace v and this older one has pikachu gx charizard gx and mewtwo gx technically the the battle academy with the pokemon v is a, it's it's newer and it features pokemon that are might still be standard legal they might not be at this point uh the cards in this one definitely are not standard legal if that is a thing you're concerned about um but again for the purposes of just learning how to play the game i think either of these boxes is totally fine and a great value and last but not least, these do come with codes so that you can get the digital versions of these cards into Pokemon TCG Live. That being said, these decks are not particularly strong and a number of these cards are no longer standard legal. So you might have to use them in Expanded and you, you probably would get stomped playing these online. So primarily this is meant to be uh, played IRL with friends and family and learn the game together. EX battle decks are the current crop of beginner level decks. These ones, each box has one 60 card deck that is meant to be beginner friendly. They feature one EX card. I've got a picture of the Chen Pao one here. So it's going to be one Chen Pao EX and then a bunch of like, you know, your standard common, uncommon and rare cards. And as a recording, there are a lot of different EX decks and I expect there to be a lot more coming in the future. At the time of this recording, all of these cards are standard format legal. Theoretically, if you wanted to upgrade these decks, you could. That being said, I think for the most part, that's not really worth upgrading these because these are pretty underpowered decks as is. That being said, some of these cards can be put into other stronger decks to make them even better. For example, this Chen Pao deck has Chen Pao Excalibur. If you buy two of these and you mash it into the Palkia League battle deck, then you've got multiple ways of either playing Chen Pao or Palkia as the main attacker, which is really cool. But I wouldn't necessarily invest money into starting with the EX deck and completely tricking it out to be a fully competitive deck because that's probably more more time and money and effort than it's worth. This also includes a, a code to use these cards in Pokemon TCG Live. Again, all of these cards at the time of this recording are standard legal, so you could use these as spare parts to stronger decks. Prior to EX decks, we had V battle decks. These are an older product, and instead of Pokemon EX, they feature one Pokemon V card. And they're, they're about the same strength. If you were to battle them together, it would probably be a pretty even fight. There are a lot of different V battle decks. There are 12 different ones, though. I would imagine that most of these are kind of hard to find in stores these days because these are older products and these are not as readily available as they once were. For the purposes of, of starting out the game, I, I generally lean towards the EX decks if you're going to be buying standalone decks to start with, but the V battle decks for the sake of just learning how to play the game are not a bad choice either. That being said, if you are looking to play competitively at some point, a lot of the V decks do are not standard legal anymore, and that's just something to keep in mind. 
And these also do come with a code to get the digital version of the deck in Pokemon TCG Live. That being said, a lot of these cards are not long are no longer standard legal and you can only use them in expanded. One of the cool things about the battle decks is that some of them are actually sold in a two pack. And inside this, you're going to get two 60 card decks and they also come with eight trainer cards, which are very strong. Some of them, it's going to vary based on which box you get, which cards you will have. But the one that I had, which was this Venusaur and Blastoise one came with bosses orders and quick balls in there, which is, which were very meta relevant cards at the time. I mean, bosses orders is very meta relevant to this day. Quick ball has since rotated out. But at the time, Quick Ball was the one of the go-to uh, ball search cards in the Pokemon trading card game. So if you're going to buy two of these V Battle decks, I would recommend getting the bundle where you can. Now, if you want to play like Blastoise versus Gardevoir, for example, those are in two separate bundles. So I can't do anything for you there. But if you like the package of Venusaur and Blastoise or however they're paired up, I would recommend getting the two pack so that you can also get the bonus trainer cards, which are very strong. Again, most of these these products in the V Battle Deck line are no longer standard legal. And you, however, you do get a code to play these in Pokemon TCG Live. Now we're going way back in time with the old theme deck format, which predates EX Battle Decks and V Battle Decks. Theme decks, you might still see a handful of these in the store and you might still find them on, on retail sites like Amazon. Uh, these are very old. At this point, that you will get one beginner level 60 card deck. It'll feature one hollow rare card. So you're not going to get anything that like takes up the full, the full card. And again, these are going to be hard to find. They are probably not particularly cheap anymore. Another thing worth noting is that most of these decks are going to be pretty underpowered, even against the other equivalent decks, like modern equivalents, like V Battle decks and EX decks, because they don't have those ultra rare Pokemon in them like a, a Venusaur V or a Blastoise V. And I know this Charizard deck is actually very good and it's one of the few that maybe could hang. That being said, most of these have just been, <laughs> are, are underpowered due to power creep and the way that theme decks and level one decks are built these days. So I, at this point, I wouldn't recommend picking up any of these. They're they're not standard legal, standard legal cards either. Uh, that being said, you will get a code to cash these in and get digital versions of these decks in Pokemon TCG Live. Um, another disclaimer here, uh, most of these cards are not going to be standard legal. However, um, at the time of recording, Pokemon TCG Live doesn't have all the expanded cards either. So depending on how far back you go, you might actually not get the cards into Pokemon TCG Live until a later date. Right now, the standard expanded goes back to sun and moon. So anything before that, you won't be able to access the cards until the full version of expanded is released. Let's move on to level two products. They are intermediate level. I think if you've got some experience with card games or TCGs, this is a pretty good place to start. Uh, price and range, these are going to be somewhere in the middle. Uh, upgrade viability is going to vary based on the product. And I think once you're comfortable with level one products, I think you could arguably skip level two entirely. So if you're looking to start, you may want to start at level two instead of level one, depending on your experience with other board games and card games. Uh, if you are already playing in level three, there might be some level two products that you may be interested in, but it's going to be on a case by case basis. We'll start with the new Deluxe Battle Decks. These ones contain one intermediate level 60 card deck. And at the time of recording, they feature three hollow rare cards, two EX cards and one Radiant. Now, I don't think Radiants are going to be a forever thing in the Deluxe Battle Deck line because not every deck needs a Radiant Pokemon. And I think, yeah, and Radiant Pokemon really only were released in the span of a year and these will rotate out at some point. So I would imagine that future ones are just going to have three EX cards instead of two EXs and a Radiant. But that's just something to keep in mind. And as of right now, there are only two of these Deluxe Battle Decks, Meowskarada 
and Quaquavel. They are standard legal, which is very nice. If you want to play these competitively, you can. However, it's going to take a lot of work to upgrade. But if you really wanted to put in the work, you can. I do like that these are closer to a competitive level deck you are getting better pokemon and a better lineup of trainer cards it's still not all the way there but at least starts to show like what the game is really about and you will get a code to get these decks in pokemon tcg live without any strings attached here's an example of actually this is my fully upgraded meowscarada deck and i i included a bunch of extra stuff here an extra meowscarada i put in a 2-2 arceus line and uh, a bibro line like i had to do a lot of work to like I'd say about half the cards from the deck as is I had to take out and put in my own cards however this was something that I chose because I I, I love Meowscarada as a a deck and I had a bunch of these cards already so I decided to pick it up and fully upgrade it which is awesome uh, that being said I would I wouldn't be surprised if they pick Pokemon that are like on the fringes of competitive play, like maybe more rogue tier archetypes. And this is just me spitballing here. I don't necessarily think they're going to put the best of the best archetypes in a stage two deck. So take that with a grain of salt if you're looking to play these competitively. Like, yes, I went through, I personally went through the effort of fully upgrading this. And even at its competitive ceiling, it is maybe a rogue tier at best. Uh, however, it is a pretty efficient way of getting a lot of cards for a a, a semi-competitive deck, which is really cool if you are in the market for something like that. Build and battle kits are definitely a different type of product relative to everything else here. Inside the box, you are going to get one intermediate level 40 card decks <laughs> deck from a randomly selected set of four. And these are not meant to be played as is. Like you're not going to go to your local tournament on a, a random, I don't know, Friday night or what? No, that's magic. Uh, on a random day and show up with this 40 car card deck to play because the standard Pokemon trading card game is played with 60 cards. And you can't just throw 40, another 20 cards in there. These decks are not particularly strong. And form the format where you are playing these is a pre-release format. That's what they're meant to be. And so the general idea of a pre-release format is you're going to get one of these build and battle kits. It comes with one of four decks and it also comes with four booster packs and you're going to open your booster packs. The store might give you some extra ones as well. And based on what you get with the base deck and the booster packs, you will then upgrade the deck and play a, a 40 card game with four prizes instead of six and there are some good cards because you are playing with standard legal cards for the most part you are going to get some good cards that can go into competitive decks at a later time but the deck that comes here is not going to be the foundation of a competitive level deck and so I think these are fun for pre-release format. It is fun to get some staples with the, the starter deck that it comes with. And it's your only way of getting certain promos for uh, some really good cards that come with these decks. But you're not going to use this as the foundation of your competitive deck in regular Pokemon play. That being said, you also do get a code in PTCG Live for the 40 card deck that you can import those cards and get the digital versions of them. Level 2 League Battle decks used to be a thing. These were released back in 2021 and there are only three of them in existence. There are the Urshifu decks and the Inteleon one. And I think these went away because they wanted to save the League Battle Deck name for level three decks. And now level two decks are called Deluxe Battle Deck. So this is kind of the precursor to the Deluxe Battle Deck. And these decks come with two Pokemon V and two Pokemon V Max. And theoretically, if you wanted to upgrade these, you can, but it's going to take a ton of work. And that I don't think it's necessarily worth tracking these down at this point. They're not readily available in stores for the most part. A lot of these cards have rotated out of standard format. The Urshifu ones have some cards that haven't rotated just yet, but they're going to rotate in the next rotation, which is, um, by my best guess, going to happen in the spring of 2024. So if you really wanted to upgrade them to play it, like, yeah, sure. But just understand that these will rotate in the very near future. Um, that being said, you will get a code to get these cards in Pokemon TCG Live. Level 3 decks are where I like to play. 
these are advanced level products for those that are interested in competitive play, whether you're playing IRL or if you're playing Pokemon TCG Live. I will say if you are looking to play on Pokemon TCG Live, you probably want to skip to level three. Level one and level two products, while they are great introductory tools, you're probably not going to get very far playing in the online space with either of those decks without doing a ton of work to upgrade. So I, if you're going to play on PTCG Live, or play at IRL event, um, definitely just jump to level three. I, I think also if you have experience playing other TCGs, you can probably just jump to level three as well. Um, no shame if you are intimidated by these types of products. I would definitely say if you're intimidated by the Pokemon TCG, start with a level one or level two. And then even if you start at just level one, then jump to level three if you want more. Yeah, you're going to get one 60 card deck that is an advanced level deck. Right now, there is a league battle deck for Shadow Rider, Ice Rider, Mew V Max, Palkia, and coming later this year is the Maridon deck. These are primarily meant for standard play. That being said, um, a lot of the league battle decks are rotating out next year. So the only ones that are really st standard safe that are going to survive the next rotation are Palkia and Maridon. So that's something to keep in mind. They are the strongest decks out of the box. You're going to get six hollow cards depending on which deck you get. You're going to get a different combination of V, V Max, Radiant Pokemon. They're actually fairly easy to upgrade. At the very least, they are meant to be upgraded and they have the shortest path to um, com being competitive than the other decks and their the competitive ceiling for all of these decks are pretty high they pick really strong archetypes to be league battle decks and if you are looking to play competitively this is the way to go and so much so that the mu v max league battle deck it is it has 38 out of the 60 cards that won the world championships this year so if you want two-thirds of a championship deck in one one go like here it is last but not least let's talk about the world championship decks you are going to get one championship level 60 card deck. And that that is a really enticing proposition. Like, why wouldn't I just buy the best possible decks? Uh, there are some major caveats to these products that you should be aware of. Like, first off, like before we get to the, the, the bad stuff, they release four of these every year to commemorate the world championships and some of the decks that were played. Uh, that being said, none of these cards are standard legal. Even if the proper versions of these cards were standard legal, these ones are not standard legal because they change the backs of the cards so that they don't look like your your standard Pokemon card. I know I have the price tag on this. It's not this style. As you can see in the picture, this one has like a green backing. They all have different backs. So not only can you not use these at official sanctioned events? They are hard to upgrade with your own cards because you can see the, the different backings on the cards and you can tell which cards are which. So you'll have to sleeve them up if you really wanted to. But the fact that these are not standard legal, you're also not going to get a code to play these decks in PTCG Live. The code that comes with it is just going to be for accessories like a deck box, sleeves, and a coin. Um, but because you can't play these in digitally, that's going to be a big deal for, for some. And a fact that the you can't use these IRL in competitive play will be a deal breaker for others as well. So some major caveats to the World Championship decks, if those don't matter to you, you're playing this casually with your family or friends, and, and you want a taste of what a championship deck plays like, then, then definitely pick this up. But otherwise, I would generally say avoid these if you want to play on PTCG Live or you have ambitions of upgrading these decks or playing IRL. Thus concludes our look at all of the Pokemon TCG pre-constructed deck options that are available for you. I hope this guide helped to give you a little more context on what's out there, what to look for, what to avoid, and you know, I hope you make the best choice for you. There are a ton of products at all of the different ranges, and I'm sure you will find the right product to help you get going. If you've got any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am uh, I'm pretty obsessed with the comments and I probably spend too much time in there. So if you've got any questions about pre-constructed decks, let me know and I'll try my best to answer. But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. Some quick plugs before we go. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. You can find me on Twitch 
at in third person where i stream the pokemon trading card game every sunday at 10 a.m eastern time and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits so until the next one i'll see you later Bye bye